So last week I finally got to go to Benjamin's hometown and uh, visit his parents and uh, see his brother and all of that and that was really fun but the, the coolest part about it was going into um, Benjamin's uh, where his original hometown where he was born. That place is way up in the mountains like like way out in the mountains. Uh, it took us about five hours to get there uh, going down dirt roads literally going up and down all these different mountains and it, it was really crazy but um you know we finally got to where his house was at and that was it was it was again it was crazy you know uh his grandpa and um assorted relatives live in uh cave homes literally carved into the side of a mountain and that was just something you know i i'd kind of seen cave homes from a distance uh, here in China, but I never actually stayed in one, and I did. I did get the opportunity to stay in one for the night, which was pretty cool. I got to sleep on a bed called a kong, which is made out of hollowed out earth and uh, built up with bricks and things like that. And inside, you can put uh, you can put coals and fire in the bed, and uh, on top you can sleep, and the fire will keep you warm at night. Um, so I mean, that was pretty cool, and uh, me and um, a few people shared uh, a Kong in one of the caves, and um, it, it was a, it was an interesting night. But the best part about going to his hometown was was just the beauty of everything. You know, it's way out in the mountains. You know, it's it's yeah, everything is terraced. Way. You know, you've got wheat, you've got corn, you've got potatoes, you've got all kinds of other plants. I don't even know what they were growing, okay. but it was just amazing. Like I I had seen all the terraced mountains on like National Geographic and you know documentaries and things but I'd never actually I never thought I would actually get to see them for myself you know if you'd asked me you know three or four years ago you know would you have ever seen what you just saw you know no way and uh, you know that was just that was amazing for me um, and I'm really grateful for being able to see that you know and it was really cool to, to meet uh, Benjamin's relatives and they were Happy to meet me and Elena. Elena, uh, Benjamin's girlfriend, came with us, and um, that was that was really great. And uh, because we are special guests, they uh, took a took a lamb out of the pen that they have in the back, and they yeah. killed it for us and uh, made it uh, into a, into a lamb stew. And that was probably the best meal I've had since I came back. It was it was legit. One of the best things about knowing Ben, I guess, is he he kind of put me in touch with this whole new side of China that I didn't know. Uh, you know, he comes from a, from really humble beginnings. He is, has shown me, you know, the fact that people do still live in caves here and people still live in one-room houses, live in unpaved areas without internet, you know, and, you know, all this stuff, you know, and I just, you know, I, I'd heard of it, you know, in documentaries and things, but I'd never, you know, actually seen it for myself. and. I feel really grateful that, that I have seen it for myself and uh, and I'm just really grateful that I have been able to see it. So Ben, when you're back in the States and maybe you see this video, I just want to say thank you for that. Welcome to our system where the water is reserved. Yep. Is there any in there? Oh yeah, there is. Cool. There's water there. There it is. Mm -hmm. There's the camera. Cool. Yes. <laughs>